day guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Monday, coming up to 6 o'clock, I am just on my way to the Fundamentals g class and at the moment I'm waiting for Jay to pick me up, but in the meantime, it's a nice fresh, fresh march for you man, if you want to see some more colourways, I've got some hoodies there as well. Um, some other good little stuff for you guys to check out. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash 210 BJJ online. You'll see all the marks there. Not only that, you will get a full, full breakdown of the past year of exclusive content to Patreon only. Some good stuff there. Some good little jiu-jitsu techniques. So head on over there. Check it all out. If you like any of the content from these YouTube videos, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. But for now, let's go to the class. So what I don't want you to do, we throw me back on this one time. What I don't want you to do is this. Okay? This is why we break for. We get used to taking the hips on our side. If you froze me, I'll put my hand up like this. Okay? If you're Jaden, you're going to... Spring out of your Kelso, you're going to be like, ha! Cool! Yeah? <laughs> but I'm not dead. So I'm going to get thrown, no. So what I have to make sure is that if I put my arm down like here and I carry on going, what do you think is going to happen to me? My arm and my shoulder are going to break. Disconnect happens every week I'm down the country. I'm positive. I'm going to take the break for And then, folks, even if he's lost his arm, I'm still going to make sure I hit that break ball. Okay, if I can, I'm still going to use him to help me up. So, the point I'm making is even when you get doubled to the side, you still take your hit. Do not try and keep yourself up by going like this. You'll jar, you'll disconnect, you'll break. Okay, happened to me. First ever time I had an MMA match, some big guy just double legged me, and I was like, ah, you can't put that up. Jarred it and literally my elbow, did, uh, my shoulder dislocated within 30 seconds. Yeah, so it can happen to happen to me personally, which is why we make sure that we learn to keep our arms in. What's a break for? What's a break for? Rather than like this. All good? Alright. What am I doing when you're gone? I don't know, isn't it? Who else got this? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, there's a neck bounce here, I think. All we're going to do is we're going to move down and take one and two and we're just going to, I'm practicing my foot sweep and my timing, he's practicing his break ball. Okay, we're not trying to outdo each other. One, two, that's it. I held him, he didn't go down dangerously. One, two, four. Okay, this is match this game ready, that is. Okay, simple as that. All good? Get your timing. Look at their feet. We're doing this twice through, and then we're moving on. All good? Yes. Hands up, one, two, three. <laughs> Listen, I'm stopping that. <laughs> it's a bit hard, mate. I've got to be honest. All right. So, why are we doing this? Because some of you, or quite a lot of you, are competing to. You need to be able to get to the ground. We can't start like this, okay? We can't, we can't just do that, okay? And it's, it's, there's options that we need to run through. So last week, we worked on our guard pulls and whatever else we can get from our guard pulls. Today, so let's talk a little bit about take -outs. But all I want us to do today is two things, right? If you've never done any throwing before, I want you to focus on the most basic judo throw, which is applicable for BJJ there is, which is a sort of throw. So all we're going to do is we're going to put his elbow in and drive him back. I'm going to step and just step through, facing our front on back. Okay? As simple as that. In, I'm going to push him to break his balance over this way. I'm going to take a step, I'm going to launch through, push, and get him down. I'm going to make sure that I control him when I'm on the floor. Okay, if his arm's up like this, what am I going to do? I'm going to step over. I'm going to choke. For those of you that have done video before or have worked on pros, I want you to work, so I'm talking probably. Three stripes and above, looking around the room. 
or us to work on things our judo friend, judo can get from this position. So what happens when we're in a head to head like this in in BJJ is more often than not come through to two button hit button one button, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't do that in China, so but we're gonna be pushing, he's gonna push in, <coughs> and that's what I might tell you. This option, which is a really easy and simple approach to do. Or we might hit Richie Mark, which is Stand him up, drive him. Hands in the collar, head, drive him. Him a hop in, bounce, throw. Making sure that I stay on top. Those of you that have done judo, you have to fight the urge to do this. You have to fight that urge. Okay? So you almost have to get to a point where you like, okay. Oh. So I'm landing down with him. Okay? So, here we go, Jay. So, Uchimara, three traps and above. I'm sorry, Gary. Everyone else. Everyone else. Hand, arm, steer, steer, step. Yeah? Everyone else. Head to head. Hop and straighten. Hop. In. Up the middle. All good? Six. We should see each of the judo bands, right? That's pickle for you just as well. I'm just trying my bad. Don't keep that to make difference. So, try not to act to attack below this knee. A lot of people are doing this. Yeah? Ending up here. No matter what's going on. You want to try and get your hips in and your leg in. So, when you, you bounce up, I'm here. You see my hip is underneath it, so when my leg goes up, it brushes up the stuff the inside of the thigh. Now what I'm aiming to do with that move, with this move, is I want to lift his hips off the floor at the same time, so get him like this. So his toes are barely, you know, just coming off. And that's where the whip comes in, because you're already pulling him round, or driving him round. So as he goes up, you're adding that whip, which is what sends him round and over, yeah? So we go in. So if I'm doing Ushimata, I normally work my way up to here, rather than down here. You can do it from here, but my preference is I work up to here. And I think this works better in Jiu Jitsu because people have bent over like this. So you can easily get in here and look, can almost go all the way around. In Judo, we're not allowed to grab past this center line. In BJJ, you know, I can actually go in here if I want to. Right around the head. Yeah, safety protocols and whatever else, it's their rule set, whatever. I like to come up just to this position. I like to put him under a little bit of pressure. I like to make sure that we're driving. Boom. Get my turn. Get his momentum. I've broken his balance. All in one little hit. Yeah? You have to make sure that if, and this will happen, when you guys are doing this for the first time, you're in here, and you're thinking, oh, I can't get it. How many people like this? It's like, oh, he's not going over. So you have to be like, but this is the danger of BJJ. These are overcommitted in front of So what I tend to do, rather than getting that full rotation for jiu-jitsu, is I tend to come in, be here, and then just drive. Okay? Then I'll get my takedown without the full rotation. Because if I over-rotate, great throw in judo, hip on, jiu-jitsu on the bottom, and they've got me in side control. So I have to make sure that I'm playing to the rule set. And that my risks are calculating risks. All understand? <laughs> Alright. Right, all we're going to do now is we're going to work off the floor. We just put them down, yeah? We just put them down. I want to do a full sequence. So we're in, they're up. We'll take a little hop step. See how I get in quick with my hop step? Boom. Up. <laughs> take them on the floor. I want us to, if we over rotate, I want us to go down and work on getting some kind of. Position to finish, yeah? If we don't over, over rotate and we run perfectly, I want us to get into a position where we're used to stepping in and taking this armbar. Okay? So throw, control, submit. Throw, control, submit. If I've just thrown him, I'm like, what a great throw, I'm over here. Jamie can turn in and get up. 
So I'll get you to go up. Yeah. Okay, and then I have to work all over again to get my pass over now. So what I have to work on is as it landed, right? I'm in and I'm on knee. My knee is straight in the drift. Look at his face. I'm controlling him now. He can't turn away. Can't turn his hand. This is where I take my arm and get my fish. Yeah? <laughs> Heavy guys and braided guys at this end. New guys down this end. Yes, 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 Sweep, sweep, and then he sweep, sweep, sweep. Circle the left and kick the right. Circle the left and kick the right. Nice. Let's go, Theo. Finish that. Finish that. Yeah. Pass again, Jay. Let's go. Sprawl, sprawl, sprawl. He's going to get under you. Sprawl. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Come down. Pass, 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 pass. Into the pass, Anthony. Let's go. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Yeah. Nice, that's all. Just get up. Just get up. Stand up. Let's go. Wipe it. Up, Jay, head up, let's go. Make it count, make it count. Jay, stay up, stay on top. Jay. That's it. Control his arm. Have done the cross. Four minutes. Oh, it's not moving. Oh. Yeah, that's what's wrong.